Hi, I'm David. Today we're going to look at this, the square root of 99.4, and we're asked to use differentials to try to estimate the square root of 99.4. Alright, if you look in your text, you'll see a formula that looks something like this. f of x plus delta x is approximately equal to f of x plus dy, and then they rewrite dy as f of x plus f prime of x dx. Okay, so this is a good formula to have memorized. It's good when using differentials, but let's explain just briefly where this formula comes from. In this case, we're looking at the square root of x. So our function f of x is the square root of x. And specifically, we want to know what is f of 99.4. We want to know that equals about what? Well, the square root of 99.4 is not an easy thing to find, so we need some way to get a good handle on it. Now, nowadays, we can mostly just plug this into our calculator, but we haven't always had calculators to do this, but mathematicians have been able to find pretty good estimates for 99.4 for a long time. So let's see what they do. I've got a, a rough sketch of, of uh, square root of x right here, but on this scale, I've elongated the x scale, or I've shortened the x scale so that Here's 100, and here's 10. And I want to know where 99.4 falls on that. Well, 99.4 falls right here, right there, really, really close to 100, and it falls right about here. So the difference between those two points is really, really small on this scale. Well, let me zoom in a little bit on this picture. If I draw this graph again, and I'll draw it kind of exaggerated. I have a picture that looks something like this. Here's 99.4, here's 100, and there is some difference between these two points. Well, the difference between f of x plus delta x and f of x plus dy is as follows. Um, it's easy to find what the square root of 100 is. It's easy to find the square root of 100 is 10. So that's going to be my x value. I'm going to pick x equals um, 100 because that's a value that's easy to plug in to the square root of x. Okay, but I really want to know what this value is right here. This f of 100 minus 0.6. Well, I, I don't really know what that is, but differentials use the idea that I can look at this tangent line right here, which hits the graph at exactly one point. And I, it's not too hard to find this value. This value is f of x plus dy. And I know it's kind of crammed in there. It's a, it's a really tight picture because these two values are so close. There's so little distance between them. And that's why we have this approximately equal to sign there. So the idea here is that if I can find some x value that works, a nice x value like x equals 100 to plug into my function like square root of x, then I can use this formula to approximate it. So let's see what I mean here. Um, if I want to know the square root of 99.4, well, I know that plugging in 100 into the square root would be easy, so I could think of this as the square root of 100 minus 0.6. If I look at it like that, then x would be 100, and delta x would be negative 0.6. Now, in the derivation of this, it's not too hard to see that delta x and dx are actually the same, but I won't go into that right now. But what I do want to do is try to plug into this formula. Um, in order to use this formula, I need f of x, which I've got. It's square root of x. And I need f prime of x, which I don't yet have. So let's go ahead and find that. f prime of x is the derivative with respect to x of the square root of x. Sometimes we like to rewrite that as x to the 1 half. So this is the derivative with respect to x of x to the 1 half. Um, and that derivative is not too hard to find. Uh, you take down the 1 half. Reduce the exponent by 1, so 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, and that's your derivative. So now I've got everything I need 
for my formula. I've got f of x, that's square root of x. I've got f prime of x, that's 1 half x to the negative 1 half. And I've got this dx, which is negative 0.6. So now let me go ahead and plug it into my formula. f of 100, well, just so I use this formula, I'll do plus negative 0.6. It's okay for your delta x to be positive or negative. Uh, in this case, I'm moving a little to the left of 100, so I'll plug it in like that. Is approximately equal to f of 100 plus f prime of 100 times negative 0.6. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wow, this seems like a big hassle, but it turns out that f of 100 and f prime of 100 really aren't that hard to find. Um, f of 100 just means the square root of 100, which is pretty easy to find. f prime of 100 is 1 half times 100 to the negative 1 half, if I take this derivative and replace x with 100. And then negative 0.6 stays there. If I can find this, then I've got a pretty good estimate for what the value should be. Well, the square root of 100 is 10. That one's not too bad. Um, plus Let's see, I should think about uh, 100 to the negative 1 half. That's the same as 1 over the square root of 100. The negative brings it to the denominator. The 1 half means it's under the square root. And then I'm multiplying that by negative 0.6. Now, this is really 1 tenth. Um, so what I have here is I've got 10 plus 1 half times 1 1 tenth times 0.6. Um, if I wanted to, I could even cancel out this 2 with this 0.6, and it'd be left with a negative 0.3. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because it's pretty easy in my head to figure out what negative 0.3 over 10 is. So this is going to be 10 plus 1 tenth times negative 0.3. Or if you like, my final answer is 10 minus 0 0.03. If I take 0 0.3 and divide by 10, I've got 0 0.03, which is uh, 9.97. Okay, so I did all this calculation and I got my approximation was 9.97. But since we do have calculators, I could see how close was I to the actual answer. Well, let's plug this into our calculator. If I take the square root of 99.4 and plug that into my calculator. My real answer, approximated by the calculator, turns out to be something like this. 9.96995. Okay, look at how close these two values are. 9.97 and 9.96995, I've got to go 0 0.00005 to get the difference. This is a really, really good approximation of my actual value. And that's why before we had use of calculators, before people could use calculators, this was a really good way to get really accurate answers. Thanks for watching.